stepped on a scale. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm at Learning Living Happy. This is going to be another sit down chat and I think this will be my third one now. And today I'm going to be speaking about scales and weight and whether you should weigh yourself and just some thoughts that I've had and my experience with the scale and weighing myself and whether I weigh myself now. Again, I asked a few questions on my Instagram um, a few days ago, a week ago, just to get an idea about your experience with the scale. Despite the fact that I do still have thoughts about my weight and it's not something that easily just goes away, like it's still, it's still an issue that I do have to work on consistently. I tend to stay away from the scale just because I know the effects that it can have on my mental health. This video is really to help those who don't even realize they have this relationship with their scale. And I know that sounds really weird, but the scale can make you feel a certain way. And if it doesn't, then that's great. I'm not saying you shouldn't weigh yourself because the scale can be a useful tool, especially if you do have a goal such as weight loss. Like it is, it is useful and it is there to be used. And not everyone has negative experiences with the scale. So this is completely personal and this is completely individual to a person so I'm not saying this is for everyone and everyone should stay away from the scale and, and distance themselves from a scale. When I was suffering with an eating disorder I would wake up every single day and the first thing I would do is weigh myself and I would weigh myself in the evening as well and even because I, I wasn't informed then but the change from my body weight from the morning to the evening I would take that as I have gained weight, I have gained fat, and it would bring me to tears. The only thing that would make me happy, because my mood completely changed as I was losing weight anyway, so I was just always in a really low mood, but I felt the only time I was happy was if I saw a number on a scale go down. But obviously that becomes quite harmful if that number keeps going down and you place your worth on that number going down. I just wanted to make people think and ask the question, why should a number dictate how you feel about yourself? Now, let me explain. So one day you wake up and you look in the mirror just as you do, you get in change, you look at yourself in the mirror, you're doing your body checks and you don't really like what you see and you don't feel that confident in your body but you just move on with your day you're feeling quite crappy you've, you've been put in a bad mood you step on the scale and you find the number is actually quite appealing to you and maybe it's gone down and you take a second look in the mirror and you're like actually i don't look that bad like what was my problem i look good which you might think is a positive thing but let me let me swap that round Let's say you wake up and you look in the mirror and actually you quite like what you see and you're feeling rather confident and let's just say it's, it's a good day. And then you step on the scale just because out of curiosity and you see the number is actually quite high or higher than usual and you take a step back and you doubt yourself and you look in the mirror and you start picking out flaws and you start picking out actually no, what was I thinking? I look awful. And I'll just highlight there that in both instances, your body hasn't changed in the time that you looked in the mirror and then stepped on the scale. But the scale, what you got from the scale and what you read from the scale dictated how you then perceived your body afterwards. If you're feeling good about the way you look, why should you then let a number tell you otherwise and tell you actually no you don't look good just because you have a number in your mind that you think you should be or you think is ideal for you whether you've researched it online that you should be this much this many kilograms or however you whatever measurement you use to weigh yourself for your height if you feel good if you feel confident in your skin have a number tell you have a number make you feel otherwise then what's the point in weighing yourself like just to make you feel crap even though you just felt good and you might think that 
the other version, so you've woken up, you don't feel good, but then you, you get that satisfaction from the scale weight telling you actually you're a bit less than you thought you were. That becomes toxic because you're starting to place your worth how you see yourself, your confidence, your self-esteem, your body image on a number. And again, let me just ask you, what does that number really tell you? What does that number even mean? Because your weight will change within 24 hours. Your weight is going to change day to day. Your weight is going to fluctuate week to week. The reality of it, your body is going to change. You can't, your ideal number, where did that come from? Was it a weight that you were when you were younger say in high school and secondary school because you can't you can't really stop your body from changing unless you are strategically eating and exercising in a way to make your body for a specific goal say athletes say bodybuilders bikini competitors that have to do that have to they have to structure and plan out their day and control every single thing they eat and every training session and cardio session, whatever. I guess where I was going with that point is your body will naturally change. So a number changing on a scale might not be a true reflection of what your body's actually doing. It's not necessarily you're gaining loads of fat. and. For someone, if you are weighing yourself every single day, your body is not changing that much overnight. So what you were yesterday, it's likely you're going to be in a one to two kilogram range of that, above or below. And as I say, don't get me wrong, the scale does have a place, especially if you have specific weight loss goals or you're trying to gain muscle or you're even trying to gain weight and getting happy about some weight loss, again, it's not it's not a bad thing. I'm not going to be telling you off if you get happy for weight loss, if that is your goal. However, when you start placing your worth and how good you feel as a person and how good you feel about your body on that scale weight and on that number going down, then that's when you, that's when there's a problem. You have to ask yourself why, like why is a lower number? Why should that make you happier why should that make you feel like you're doing a good thing something to be rewarded you might even do it not even it's just a habit now in our society if someone's lost weight we mention it and we go wow you look good like have you lost weight and it's just normal but 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 why what if someone I don't know had lost their appetite because they were really stressed and they so they just naturally just ate less and they had lost weight and then I don't know a friend comes to them and says oh you look good you've lost weight like what, what have you been doing and actually they turn to you and say I've just been really stressed haven't been feeling my best at all what are you gonna say to them when actually their life goes back to normal and they're just doing their day-to-day -day thing, the appetite increases again, and over time they naturally just gain a bit more weight back to where they were. Are we gonna shame that? No, of course not, it's just, it's just what happens. So why are we rewarding it in the first place? And it's, an, it's a narrative and it's a thought process that you have to be telling yourself, like if you are stepping on the scale and you do see a number go down or your weight fluctuate, a number going down does not make you a better person and a number going up does not make you a bad person there is no the number on the scale does not dictate your worth and there's no there's no relationship that you can't base your morality and and feelings for yourself and confidence and self-worth based on a number that you step on every day that will fluctuate anyway because your body changes day to day depending on the food you've eaten your hormones how much fluid you've had what you had to eat last night whether you've exercised water retention and things like that and for me stepping on the scale became just like a it became something safe like i needed to know what my body weight was i just needed to know but i don't know why i needed it to know i just told myself like I, I had to step on that scale just to reassure my, not even to reassure myself, but just so I had that information. But what, what would happen if you didn't step on the scale? Just ask yourself. And if it is some, if you are weighing yourself every day, I think the first step would be to try to reduce the amount of times that you do weigh yourself. Like instead of once every day, 
try once a week. And if to you, if that sounds scary to you and that causes anxiety, maybe it's just highlighting and indicating that there might be some problems there because it shouldn't be so scary to not step on a scale and not know exactly what your body weight is that day. And actually, if, if you are finding it scary to reduce the amount of times you weigh yourself, you probably need to reduce the times you weigh yourself more, more than other people need to. Make it, make it your priority because really the number, the scale, your weight is what it is. It is just a number. Um, I'm doing a nutrition course and one of the stories that I've heard quite a lot now is Martin, the guy, the person who runs the company, um, he would just say stories about these athletes who, who got their body fat percentage measured but they had used like two different um, techniques, two different machines, two different methods of assessing and measuring their body fat. And on one method they were like 10% or just under 10% like single digit like 8% or something and another method they used told them there was like 15% when they got told they were 8% body fat percentage they were over the moon they were happy when they saw the other method and the results that they got given with that they their confidence and body image and self-esteem and their mood just dropped completely but their body had not changed i just have i'm just reinforcing and emphasizing that even if your body doesn't change and your body looks exactly the same but the number and the scale changes it can affect your mood so much but the main question is why it is only a number it tells you nothing about you as a person how good you are as i said there is no relationship there's no correlation between your weight and your worth as a person. Is it doing you more harm than good? And if it is, then you do need to step back. You need to reevaluate because constantly checking in on your body, you don't you don't have to do that. You don't have to constantly check in, measure, eyeball it because believe it or not, your body is clever enough to maintain a body weight you're not going to gain weight drastically by not weighing yourself your body is smart enough to to know what to do and you need to just uh, you just need to trust yourself a bit more because if you if you feel like this video does relate to you a bit i think what you need to do is if you do step on the scale you need to see that number just as a number you shouldn't this sh you shouldn't be attaching anything to that number it is simply just a number and you also need to accept if it changes you need to step on that scale completely neutral with no emotional or moral attachment to you and who you are as a person which i know can be hard especially if you have struggled with your weight and you do struggle with body image and even if your weight does change this is again something in society that's just normal but we praise weight loss and we fear weight gain. I do encourage healthy behaviors and eating, eating well and exercising, but, but everyone will look different doing those things. But yeah, you just have to present yourself with acceptance no matter what the scale says that your weight is because at the end of the day, it is just a number. Yeah, I, I stepped on a scale because, and then I just thought, it was just sitting there in the kitchen, I was like, I don't know why it was in the kitchen, it just was. Um, but I just thought, well, okay, why, why not just just step on it? And it was a test to me, because not because I was gonna freak out with whatever the number showed, but it was testing my ability to read the number and not react. And that's, that's, what, you, that's what the goal is, really, if you're wanting, when trying to heal your relationship with food and your body and on my recovery journey is just accepting and knowing that my weight doesn't it's not it's not an important facet of me and it and whether it changes whether it goes up does not make me a worse person it doesn't have to be going down and I won't be saying how much weigh because I think that's completely 
irrelevant information. I all the time used to want to know what other people weighed and it's just, again, it's just so toxic because ev as I said, everyone is different. My way is going to be different to your weight. If we're, like, we're not meant to be the same weight. We carry fat and muscle in different ways. Every every single body is different. So yeah, I won't like my weight is irrelevant to you. And I don't really think you guys need to know that or want to know that anyway, but I'm not trying to think about what I think about the number that I saw. That that's the whole aim really, is just to take those thoughts, take those emotions away um, from a number. I feel like I've rambled a bit and I don't know if this video actually makes sense. I hope that this has got you thinking and I hope this makes you maybe feel better and maybe want to try, maybe it's highlighted to you that something's not quite right and and that actually stepping on the scale isn't making you happy and you do want to start making those changes. If you do think this video has been helpful, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel it really supports me and share if you think this could help anyone else if you do take on some of the things i've said i'd love if you message me um my instagram is at learning living happy i i would love to talk to you guys on, on my dms and just give you the support if you feel like you need it or if you want some more information on what you can do to start setting yourself on that journey let me know if there's anything that you do want me to talk about, if there's anything that you're struggling with. Yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. Literally. This is Elliot the elephant. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Anyway. Yeah, I remembered mascara this time. Not, I, don't, I literally don't wear makeup, but I thought... Why not? Anyway, guys, I'm really hungry. My throat's like dry. I've been speaking for a very long time.